president said you could keep your insurance and your doctor. That was a lie. Benghazi, a cover-up and an inexcusable loss of American heroes. The IRS and NSA targeting Americans and then trying to hide it. A Congress that is loathed by our country. Spending in a $17 trillion debt that's out of control. Government that is no longer trusted and is intruding in our lives and suffocating business. This isn't the America I grew up in, and it's sure not the America I'm leaving for my wife, children, and grandkids. When America has missions that cannot fail, we send in the Navy SEALs. Well, America is failing this time. We need to send in a Montana SEAL. My grandmother left home at the age of 14, graduated college, and became a frontier schoolhouse teacher during the Great Depression outside of Ritchie, Montana. That's America. My grandfather helped build the Fort Peck Dam. My father was the youngest master plumber in Montana's history at 17. That's America. I grew up in a small Montana railroad and timber town, and I never forgot my grandmother telling me over and over that hard work and determination create opportunity and success. I was a high school president, and we went undefeated our senior year in football, won the state championship. America. I served 23 years as a Navy SEAL, and twice was commander at SEAL Team 6. I commanded in Iraq, Kosovo, and Bosnia, and received two Bronze Stars. My daughter became a Navy diver and married a Navy SEAL. That's America. I was elected to the Montana State Senate, never bowed to pressure, and championed education, conservative family values, small business, and solid, good-paying jobs. That's the conservative America I grew up in. That's the America we need to return to. We need to stop America's fall and restore American exceptionalism. Show the world that we're still compassionate and strong, that we never bow, never apologize. We need to honor our commitments to our veterans, to our elderly, keep our word and lead by example to show what truth, grace, and honor look like. Energy independence must be a priority for both national security and economic certainty. Never again should our sons and daughters be placed in harm's way for foreign oil or lose jobs at home because it's too expensive to make something in America. Let's get the government out of our business and unleash the true power of American industry. That means jobs, letting the private sector work again. The American dream of having a good job, owning a home, and sending the kids to college must be real again. Let's abandon Obamacare and find a fix for healthcare that lets us keep our doctor and our existing insurance if we choose. Less politics, more leadership, with a heavy dose of my grandmother's hard work ethic and determination. Truth, grace, and honor back in the halls of our capital, so that when the American flag waves, it means something to the world. Washington can be fixed. I ask for your support, your vote, and your prayers. May God bless America and all who defend her. I'm Ryan Zink and I approve this message.